what do you make of the approach uh, from the Department of Labor, these blitz inspections? How, how do you view their conduct? Look, I think even if the allegations are true and our employee is wrong, I think there's better ways of doing things. You know, these rates seem so deliberate to our industry and it's not exclusive to our industry. You can look at any other industry and I'm sure that they've got the same type of challenges. But when we look at this, there's got to be a better way to protect our employees. Albert, the chief executive, the Association of Restaurants in South Africa, react to the ongoing raids that's happening in south africa we all know that recently there was a video that was you know gone viral about this uh, babel restaurant that uh, you know they have been underpaying their workers and sometimes they are not even paying them they are just you know depending on tips and uh, this this video guys caused a lot of drama because now the labor the south african labor department had to be going in different restaurants in raids checking whether they are really exploiting their workers and also checking on the illegal immigrants now the chief executive wendy uh, um, albert actually in her conversation thought that this is not good this is deliberate and he, she thinks that the restaurant branch should not be fully you know it, it should not be blamed fully for the mess, you know, the illegal immigrants mess in South Africa. And she feels that there are better way to do things. So you guys, I want you to listen to Wendy Albert's conversation and what she thinks could have been done better in this case. The, what do you make of the approach uh, from the Department of Labor, these blitz inspections? How, how do you view their conduct? Look, I think even if the allegations are true and our employee is wrong, I think there's better ways of doing things. You know, these rates seem so deliberate to our industry and it's not exclusive to our industry. You can look at any other industry and I'm sure that they've got the same type of challenges. But when we look at this, there's got to be a better way to protect our employees, protect our industry, protect the businesses, protect restaurants. And more so, you know, I just feel at this point in time that they can't use our industry to set an example to clean up the historic mess. And I agree, there could be faults in terms of compliance and there could be faults in terms of labor elements. But we should also be having a conversation with the Department of Immigration and the Department of Home Affairs. And I've reached out to the Minister of Home Affairs, I've reached out to Home Affairs to have this conversation to say, the way that the raids have been going seems somewhat barbaric. Surely we can do things in a better way. We can have a more mutually agreeable relationship. Innocent people are being arrested you know, we understand that there is a law, that there is immigration challenges. But we need to work together hand in hand that we can minimize the stress that we're putting on the people, that we can alleviate the stress that is on our restaurant owners. And if we look at what's been happening over the last four days, there's just got to be a better way to approach both the Department of Home Affairs and Immigration because this is really terrorizing our restaurant industry and it's terrorizing staff. So when we talk about poor working conditions, we're exposing our staff in these restaurants to these raids, which is really traumatic. And I right. agree, if we need to get our house in order, let's consult. If we need to do things differently, let Home Affairs and the Department of Immigration be available to serve us and let them help us to clear up any unfairness. She thinks that, you know, you guys, you've heard what she has said. She thinks that this is very unfair and that uh, the South African uh, restaurant um, uh, department should not be fully, you know, held fully accountable. There are also other branches that are doing the same thing, exploiting workers, employing illegal immigrants, because I think in this context, South Africa is fighting how South African restaurants are exploiting their workers and also they are using this hospitality branch to employ illegal immigrants. We know that South Africans over the past years have been fighting the issue of illegal immigrants and they are actually making sure, want to make sure that anyone that lives in South Africa has to have a right to live there. You have to have a visa. You have to have a reason to have a reason why you're in South Africa, which means you have to prove your you know your identity or something or why are you in south africa so they feel that the restaurant branch is one of the biggest uh, industry that 
people or the the employers are not doing their work so when do williams feel that no this this cannot be why should this hospitality branch be the one to clean up for the whole mess so she feel that this um this is like an attack for the restaurant branch and she feel that this is deliberate actually this um she said that we've got uh the rates seem to be deliberate in our industry and we can't be held responsible in our industry to clean up the historic mess in terms of the foreign national wow 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 i kind of agree though i don't know what you guys think about this but i kind of agree that why should the restaurant branch be held you know responsible for the whole historic mess in terms in terms of foreign national what is the south african migration doing you understand so f she feels that the home affairs the the south african immigration and the restaurant industry or the hospitality uh, industry in south africa should work together and that is why she's saying that there are better ways of doing things instead of them going to the restaurant and raiding you know doing raids. they say like it's terrific it's terrifying it's making the workers to feel uncomfortable because you know they will come out and call out the workers and begin to ask them of their identity and also that really is traumatizing and I, I actually kind of understand because i know some workers have their documents maybe some of them are being paid well and here it is the home affairs come with police everywhere and all of you with your uniforms have to come out and they have to be checking on your documents it's actually a very awkward moment in fact there was a video i watched the other day that well, they went to raid in a um, certain uh, restaurant and some staff didn't have documents and they went upstairs to hide and i think one of them fell down and injured herself so I, I, that's why she's saying like it's terrific it's terrifying them and this act can maybe do more harm than help you understand so but then she said that uh, it's part of the agreement that they can employ workers on commission and i think bargaining council has defined with the agreement that we are allowed to take commission workers and i think this is where the confusion wow so the bargaining council has defined within the agreement that we are allowed to take commission workers which means they are actually allowed to take commission workers it means that you get paid based on on wages if i if i if i understood that right so i think this is what has caused a lot of problems and that that, that is why a lot of restaurants have used this media now to underpay their workers and uh, you know exploit them and also try to employ um people that don't have documents because the other day when i was reading my comments somebody really made a very good comment and said that the reason why this restaurant are employing illegal immigrants because at the end of the day the illegal immigrants even if they are underpaid or they are not being paid or whatever happens they don't have anyone to run to they cannot report to anyone and that's why these restaurant branches keep on misbehaving so this baby bell scandal has caused a lot of um, you know awareness that uh, really the the hospitality industry in south africa is not the way it is they are really exploiting workers and also employing people that don't have documents and we know that south africa like i said for the past year has been fighting illegal immigrants and you know people are complaining there are no jobs we are at there are some people that are living and working in south africa illegally so you guys when people are talking about uh, reacting to what Wendy Albert is saying that there are better ways to do things, somebody says no. I, a lot of people actually say there's no better way to do these things because this restaurant industry, they will not listen. They will continue underpaying their workers. They will continue hiring illegal, you know, nas nationals. And, and, <laughs> and this is the right way to do. They feel that this is the right way the the way the labor department is handling this issue by raiding restaurant is the right way because if they are said that they have to follow protocol they have to call on them for meetings they have to tell them they will not listen so they say that this is the right way a lot of people feel no this is how it should be these people they know what they have been doing for years and years and years and this is the right move so you guys what do you feel about this move is the south african labor department 
doing the right way by reading restaurant or is there a better way because at the end of the day what wendy um albert is fighting for is fighting for stuff that is causing trauma and uh, also she feels that the south african hospitality department cannot be held responsible for the historic mess when it comes to immigrants or immigration in south africa she feels that the home affairs and the south african migration should also do their job and both home affairs south african migra um, migration department should work hand in hand with the hospitality money uh, department to make sure that things are running the way they should so you guys what do you think about wendy williams reaction to the uh, to the raids that's happening now in the hospitality department in south africa thank you so much guys i always want to hear your opinion because it's there that you know we discuss we talk and uh, we, we want to know like is this the right way should the labor department continue this way or is there better means they can use to stop restaurant exploiting people and also handling the issue of um you know other uh, in, uh nationals in south africa